know what? Now I'm done with that. What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range, and today I have something very unique to show you. From what I understand, this is the longest AR-15 that is shoulder-fired to ever exist. This is absolutely ridiculous. We have a 36-inch barrel with a 4-inch flash hider. And for some comparison here, here is a standard AR-15 with a 16-inch barrel. Pretty big difference. I am really excited to try this thing out and see what differences we have between a 16-inch barrel and a 36-inch barrel. Will we have increased velocity? Will we have increased accuracy? Will it cause more damage? And how hard is this thing gonna be to hold up and actually aim at something? All right, first things first. Let's see if we can even get this thing to function. I've got a 20 round mag loaded up. Let's see what happens. That is awesome. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really expect it to cycle that well. Up next, I wanna see if this 36 inch long barrel is gonna affect the weapon's accuracy. I'm gonna take a few shots at 25 and then just start moving back. All right, let's scoot back a little bit. Okay, now I'm back at 50 yards. I will say it is kind of difficult to hold this long barrel up. It's not balanced very well. Okay, 50 yards, not bad. Let's scoot back a little further. Okay, let's see if I can keep this long barrel still enough to actually hit something at 100. Here we go. All right, not bad. One, two, three. So before I start blasting everything under the sun, let's get a little scientific, shall we? I have a 16 inch block of 10% clear ballistic gel. This was sent to us by Clear Ballistics. A big thank you to them. And I have a chronograph. This measures the speed of your bullet. I'm gonna set the chronograph in front of the ballistic gel, shoot into the gel, and see what kind of velocity and penetration we're getting out of our 36 inch long barrel. So first up is my AR-15 with a 16 inch barrel, and I'm gonna be loaded up with some Underwood ammo, 55 grain hunting rounds. Let's see what kind of speed and penetration we get. Okie dokie, here we go. Hope I don't shoot my chronograph. All right, well, I just about lost my chronograph. <laughs> Let's take a look, see here. Ugh. Okay, no, we were good. I was aiming about right here, so I hit about where I wanted to hit. But I guess the sheer energy that was delivered into this block, Judy chopped that cinder block and destroyed it. So it looks like we had some good expansion from that round, and I would say about 12 inches of penetration. Unfortunately, we had an error on our chronograph. It did not catch the speed of that round. I have moved the chronograph just slightly, and I'm gonna see if we can get a better reading. I think we got better sunlight on it now. Look at that, it worked. So we have a reading of 2,923 feet per second. Now we have the 36 inch long 
AR-15. I have the same ammo. Let's see what kind of differences we have in speed and penetration. Three thousand two hundred and eighty four moving a little bit faster. We have a bigger wound channel than our first shot and we had more penetration that almost made it through the entire 16 inch block. So we are indeed getting more velocity and more penetration with the 36 inch barrel. <laughs> I didn't join this video. Well then you should really consider hitting that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on any future content. All right, that's enough of that scientific stuff. I'm ready to shoot some things. First up is a one gallon container of Elmer's glue. Okay, let's make a mess. Well, that wasn't as eventful as I thought it would be. We had a little bit of a blowout, but not really what I was expecting. Okay, up next, we're gonna shoot some pineapples. What's the point of having a long barrel if you can't reach out and touch something? Next, we are going to shoot some papaya. <laughs> Anyways, what I was saying is next, we are going to shoot some papaya. Babaya, papaya! Oh! Papaya apparently is not a very reactive target. But look at this guy. That's... Oh, gosh. Seriously. Who eats papaya? That is disgusting. Up next, I have another oblong piece of produce that nobody likes, eggplant. <laughs> Up next, I'm gonna shoot one gallon of Grey Poupon. Here we go. Oh! That went everywhere. I got poop on my barrel. I got poop on my papaya. I got poop on my cameraman. I got poop on my arm. I can't reach, can't reach it. Up next, I've got some cabbage and we're gonna see how many cabbages it takes. <coughs> I sucked some cabbage down my wind hole. Anyways, we're going to see how many cabbages it takes to stop an Underwood ammo 62 grain controlled chaos round. How many cabbages will it take? <laughs> All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six on the table, seven, and I guess eight exploded. So we'll go ahead and say two, three. Oh dear, look at that. That is quite a hole. Four. Oh, I think we may have started to deviate because number five looks untouched. So we hit number four and then we blew out the side. Okay, for our last test, we are gonna shoot this truck 
with the 16 inch barrel and the 36 inch barrel and see if we get a difference in penetration. These are 62 grain controlled chaos by Underwood Ammo. 16 inch barrel is first. Let's go check that out. Oh, I can already tell you right now. I'm pretty sure we made it through the other side. Let's see. Oh yeah. Yeah, that made it through. There's a nice hole right there. Well, the 16 inch barrel made it through the truck. There's really no reason for me to shoot it with the 36 inch barrel, but I'm going to anyways. Let's check that out. Hit. And well, I don't know. Oh, yep. Yep, we've got another hole right there. And you can see the copper all around that. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I certainly did. Let me know what you think about the longest AR-15 in the comment section down below. If you have made it this far into this video and you are not subscribed to this channel, you need to do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure and give it a like. Also, be sure and check me out on Kentucky Ballistic Shorts, Kentucky Customs, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. I'll see you next time.